Welcome to G Fun Facts Online. Today, we're journeying to the bottom of the world, to a continent almost entirely covered in ice, Antarctica. But our story isn't about what's on top of the ice. It's about what lies beneath the waves, hidden on the seafloor. For decades, we knew the ocean floor around the frozen continent was complex, but a recent breakthrough has revealed a secret world of immense scale. Scientists have just completed the most detailed map ever created of a vast network of underwater canyons, some of which are deeper than the Grand Canyon. This isn't just a geographical discovery, it's a key that could unlock critical secrets about our planets, climate, ocean currents, and the incredible resilience of life in extreme environments. In a monumental leap for polar science, researchers cataloged an astonishing 332 submarine canyon networks crisscrossing the Antarctic seafloor. To put that in perspective, this single effort increased the number of known canyons around the continent by a factor of five. It's like looking at a map of your city your whole life and then suddenly discovering it has five times as many streets as you thought. Some of these underwater valleys are truly colossal, plunging to depths of over 4,000 meters. For comparison, the deepest point of the Grand Canyon is about 1,800 meters. These Antarctic canyons are a testament to the immense geological forces that have shaped our planet. So how did we suddenly see all of this? The discovery was made possible by analyzing new, high-resolution data from a project called the International Bathymetric Chart of the Southern Ocean, or IBCSO. Think of bathymetry as the underwater equivalent of topography. This new chart mapped the seafloor with a resolution of 500 meters per pixel, allowing scientists from the University of Barcelona and University College Cork to see the seabed in unprecedented detail. Using semi-automated computer techniques, they could systematically identify and analyze these features, creating a comprehensive inventory of this hidden world. The formation of these canyons is a story written over millions of years, a story of ice and gravity. The primary architects are the colossal Antarctic ice sheets and the powerful underwater avalanches known as turbidity currents. For millennia, the massive weight of the ice sheets has caused them to slowly grind their way towards the coast. As these glaciers move, they gouge the bedrock beneath them, scraping up enormous volumes of rock and sediment. This material is then transported to the edge of the continent and deposited on the continental shelf. This constant glacial grinding is a key reason why Antarctic canyons are generally so much larger and deeper than those found in other parts of the world. Now imagine all that loose sediment piled up on the steep underwater slopes of the Antarctic coast. It's an unstable situation. All it takes is a trigger, and this sediment-laden water begins to rush down the continental slope. This is a turbidity current. It's not just a slow ooze, it's a high-speed erosive force, an avalanche of water, rock, and sand that carves and sculpts the seafloor as it goes. Over geological time, these powerful currents have deepened and widened the initial channels carved by glaciers, creating the intricate, sprawling canyon systems we can now see. What's even more fascinating is that the map reveals a tale of two Antarcticas. The canyon systems are distinctly different between the east and the west. In East Antarctica, the canyons are described as being more complex and branching often with wide, U-shaped cross-sections. This suggests a very long and sustained period of glacial activity, pointing to the East Antarctic ice sheet having an earlier origin and a more protracted history of shaping the seafloor. In contrast, the canyons in West Antarctica are typically shorter, steeper, and have sharper, V-shaped cross-sections. This morphological difference give scientists valuable clues about the continent's ancient ice history. The West is tectonically different, divided by the massive West Antarctic Rift System, which has predisposed the topography to these sharper formations. It tells us that the two halves of the continent have experienced very different geological and glacial pasts. You might imagine these deep, dark, 
frigid canyons as desolate, lifeless trenches. But the reality is quite the opposite. Scientists are now discovering that Antarctica submarine canyons are vibrant hubs of marine life, acting as oases in the deep sea. They serve as critical conduits, funneling nutrients and organic matter from the shallow, sunlit coastal areas down into the abyss. This process effectively links the upper layers of the ocean with the deep sea, creating biodiversity hotspots on the seafloor. The complex terrain of the canyons themselves, with their steep walls, overhangs, and varied sediment types, provides a huge range of niches and habitats for what we call benthic communities, the organisms that live on or in the seabed. This includes a weird and wonderful array of life, from crustaceans and worms to starfish, sea cucumbers, and mollusks. We're seeing this play out in places like the Ross Sea, which is considered one of the most pristine and productive marine ecosystems left on Earth. Its icy waters are home to numerous species of whales, penguins, and seals. Below the surface, its canyons support rich, benthic ecosystems, including dense gardens of cold water corals that thrive in the nutrient-rich currents. The Ross Sea is a living laboratory, and its canyons are a vital part of what makes it so full of life, supporting a significant portion of the world's Adelie and Emperor penguins, as well as unique populations of Ross Sea orcas and Weddell seals. The same is true for the Weddell Sea on the other side of the continent. It's famous for its colossal swarms of krill, tiny shrimp-like crustaceans that form the base of the entire food web. These krill swarms feed everything from seals and penguins to the great baleen whales, like humpback and mink whales, that migrate here to feast. Research in specific canyons, like the Palmer Deep Canyon on the Western Antarctic Peninsula, has shown how these features can act as biomass supermarkets. Ocean currents can be guided by the canyon walls, concentrating huge amounts of phytoplankton, the microscopic plants that form the very bottom of the food chain, into the canyon. This makes them incredibly attractive feeding grounds for krill, which then attract larger predators like penguins. In some cases, the unique circulation within a canyon can even trap nutrients and foster local phytoplankton blooms, turning the canyon into a self-sustaining biological farm. There's even evidence of chemosynthetic ecosystems, which derive energy from chemical reactions rather than sunlight, further highlighting the potential for unique and undiscovered life forms in these extreme environments. Beyond creating habitats for life, the discovery and detailed mapping of these canyons have profound implications for our understanding of global climate change. These submarine valleys are not passive features. They are active players in the Earth's climate system, influencing both the global ocean circulation and, crucially, the rate at which the Antarctic ice sheets are melting. Firstly, the canyons play a pivotal role in the global ocean conveyor belt. Near the ice shelves, seawater becomes very cold and salty, and therefore very dense. This dense water sinks and flows down the continental slope, often guided by these canyons. As it funnels into the deep ocean, it becomes what is known as Antarctic bottom water, or AABW. This is one of the engines of global ocean circulation, a slow-moving current that distributes heat, salt, and nutrients around the entire planet helping to regulate the global climate. The canyons are the highways that deliver this cold water to the deep sea. But there's a more immediate and concerning role these canyons play. They can also act as conduits for warm water to flow in the opposite direction towards the ice. A layer of relatively warm, salty ocean water, known as circumpolar deep water, or CDW, circles the continent. Normally, this warm water stays offshore in the deep ocean. However, these newly mapped canyons can act like underwater highways, allowing this warm water to penetrate across the continental shelf and reach the very base of Antarctica's floating ice shelves. When this warm water comes into contact with the underside of the ice, it melts it from below. This process is called basal melting, and it's a major driver of ice loss in Antarctica. The ice shelves are incredibly important because they act as buttresses, 
holding back the enormous glaciers on land. As they are thinned from below, they weaken and can eventually collapse. When an ice shelf weakens or disappears, the glaciers behind it can flow much faster into the ocean, directly contributing to global sea level rise. This is why the new map is so critical. Current climate models, including those used by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC, often lack the resolution to accurately simulate these complex, local-scale interactions between ocean currents and the seafloor. They might see the continental shelf as a relatively smooth slope. By incorporating the precise location, depth, and shape of these 332 canyon networks, scientists can build far more reliable models. They can better predict how and where warm water will reach the ice how quickly the ice shelves might melt, and ultimately get a much more accurate projection of future sea level rise. This isn't just an academic exercise, it's essential information for coastal communities around the world. The mapping of this vast canyon network is a monumental achievement, but it also underscores a humbling fact. So much of our planet remains unexplored. To date, only about 27% of the entire world's seafloor has been mapped in high resolution. The polar regions, in particular, remain one of the last great frontiers of discovery. The future of Antarctic research will depend on a new generation of tools. Advanced polar research vessels, like the UK's RRS Sir David Attenborough, and a planned new vessel from the US National Science Foundation, are being built to serve as state-of-the-art platforms for exploring these remote and challenging environments. They are equipped with sophisticated multi-beam echo sounders for high-resolution mapping and can deploy a whole suite of robotic vehicles. Perhaps most vital for this kind of work are Autonomous Underwater Vehicles, or AUVs. These untethered robot submarines are becoming essential for exploring areas that are simply too dangerous or inaccessible for ships, most notably the regions directly underneath thick, floating ice shelves. AUVs can be pre-programmed to survey vast areas of the seafloor on their own, collecting a wealth of data on bathymetry, ocean temperature, salinity, and even using cameras to survey marine life. The ongoing exploration of Antarctica's hidden world is about so much more than just filling in blank spaces on our maps. It's about gaining a deeper, more fundamental understanding of the complex processes that govern our planet's climate. It's about discovering the rich tapestry of life that can exist in the most extreme environments imaginable. As we continue to unveil the secrets of this vast, hidden network of canyons, we are not just mapping the seafloor of Antarctica. We are charting a course towards a more complete understanding of our world, and the challenges that lie in our future. Thanks for listening to G Fun Facts Online.